Hey friends, musicians, drummers out there, welcome back to a video and this tutorial I talk about all about stacking instruments in Superior Drummer 3. Uh, so you show you some uh, turnaround tricks, um, how to use it and what you need to look after for because I got this question over at the amazing Facebook group, uh, the Superior Drummer Facebook group. I heavily invite you to join that group. So the question was raised uh, about stacking instruments, pros and cons, and I decided to make a little video. So just as a quick recap, I just loaded up a kit in Superior Drama, the Yamaha Beach, Ludwig Black Beauty, a basic beat, um, changed nothing so far on uh, mixing. So this is what it sounds like right out of the box. Okay, nothing special so far. So, as a recap, stacking instruments is rather easy in Supreme Drummer. Uh, let's say the snare is the most obvious instrument to pick always. Um, just right click on the snare drum. Um, you can like choose another snare drum, but we want to stack something. So go to more, add to stack. Um, and usually it's the center articulation. You can stack um, to every single articulation they recorded, but I'll show, talk you about this in a second. So let's uh, say we add a, um, another snare to the center articulation and let's pick one from the core library from Superior Drum as well. Let's pick the amazing Tama Belbres. Center, here down in the right, um, just hit stack on center. So now we have a stacked snare drum, which will be triggered each time a center hit uh, is been triggered by the MIDI note. So let's hear how this sounds. So now this is like basic. You can now adjust uh, the level of just the stacked snare drum. So bring it down a little bit, just like to place it underneath. Uh, you can change the pitch, common stuff, right? So in the mixer section, what the software is automatically doing, uh, you see here the two channels, the X snare, uh, top and bottom, which is basically the same microphone system as they have for the core snare that we picked, the Black Beauty here, and now you can like route them together, um, let's say all the snare to an individual bus and can process them, you get the point. Um, the cool thing as it's the snare from the same library, you see here in the uh, room microphones, for instance in this overhead dynamic microphone here on the top right, you, uh, right corner, you see the edit stack feature. Um, you can adjust even the volume now within those pair of room microphones. On the room microphones where no sample is loaded yet, uh, you can just load the new snare drum or both of them adjust the volume. So it's fairly easy as long as you deal with instruments from the same library. But the question that most mostly come up, let's remove that here, is when you stack instruments from different uh, library. So let's say we don't want to have a snare drum from the same library, but we want a snare drum, let's say, from the cool custom and vintage library. And we go for the Ludwig Black Beauty here as well. Um, there are two of them, which are one sampled without and one with the snare wires on. So we pick the ones with the snare, of course. Stack on center. So you heard already the snare drum from the custom vintage because the room, and this is important, that snare was recorded in is fairly, fairly dry and small compared to the Galaxy Studio Superior Drama 3 was recorded in. When I play now the groove, you won't notice a big difference um, in the first place because um, the most articulation you hear is going to be the direct hits. And Superior so Drummer did the same here. Um, you have two different snare drums, uh, which are recorded snare top, snare bottom. So um, as the same the uh, example with the Tama Braber snare, you can process them individually. But what about the different room microphones? To find out, and this is the mo most important feature here, right click on the stacked snare drum and click route instrument microphones. So this window will pop up. Here on the left side, and as the stacked snare drum here, the um, amazing 20s, 1920s um, Black Beauty snare drum is highlighted, 
the microphones you see here on the left side are the actual microphones that are available in that particular SDX, in this case, the custom and vintage. And what the software Superior Drama is now doing, it um, aligns and connects the individual microphones to the most likely or similar microphones from the core library. So this happens automatically. Um, you see the ambience stereo microphone from the custom vintage is now routed to the ambience ribbon microphone from Superior Drama. The mono microphone from custom vintage and the comp has no, obviously for the software, no corresponding or similar room microphone. That's the reason here um, you see the word none. When you go now to the uh, mixer window and we go to the ribbon microphone, here, go to the right, let's make this bigger. Bigger. You see the same here, edit stack, um, and you can adjust the levels like you, we did before with the core um, snare from the Tama Babers from the Superior Drama. The difference though is when I now solo the room microphone and let's um, first disable all of them first. So now just the two microphones um, are combined in that room microphone. And remember, um, the Light Ray Beauty from the 20s, uh, this is the microphone again. It's no ribbon microphone, it's the ambient stereo microphone. So when I play now the groove and just listen to the Black Beauty from the core library. But now, just the Black Beauty from the Custom Vintage, which was, by the way, uh, some nerd knowledge, uh, recorded in two Curly Head Studios in London. So here is the point where the problem begins, right? Um, it's a completely different room, uh, different reverb, different room size, different reflections, different microphones, uh, different surfaces on the walls, on the ceiling, all that stuff. Uh, when you combine the both and listen to them together, um, it might sound weird every now and uh, weird every now and then. During a full mix, you probably won't hear the difference. So this is what it sounds like uh, in combination with all the microphones. It adds a certain flavor. So this is where the creativity starts. Um, so let's n now say. Uh, we route the microphones, the missing ones, the ambience mono, to um, a mono microphone. And you see this little symbol here. If it's just one uh, cycle, then it's a mono microphone. And this is obviously the, uh, the stereo symbol. So as the ambience mono is, as the name suggests, a mono microphone, we route this to the center and we leave the comp as it is. So let's go to the mixer window. We go to the center here, the same. You see, uh, it's called edit stack. This one is already enabled and let's, and this one is really a big difference right now because the mono microphone is just a mono microphone from a still rather uh, small room. The center microphone from the core library, however, is one of the like biggest reverbish microphones in the whole library. So let's first listen, core library. and now custom and vintage. Together. It's okay, but it's weird. It gets more interesting though, um, when you do quite the opposite. So let's jump to the custom and vintage library and let's pick the uh, Ludwig by Beauty from the 20s. Here it is. And this is the whole drum set, rather dry. Uh, you see the nice picture, the nice graphics here. This is the actual room. So you see it's, of course, not that size from the core library. So let's do the opposite. Let's stack to the center articulation. We go to the um, core library. I have too much libraries. Um, and let's pick the Ludwig Black Beauty. Let's pick the Ludwig Black, Black Beauty 20s uh, from the um, core library as well. Stack on center. Just play the beat. In the mixer window, same idea. Here are the both direct microphones, custom vintage core library. So let's do the same. Let's check now the opposite. Go to root microphone options and you have a bunch of microphones. 
um, which are directly aligned to uh, the corresponding microphones from the custom vintage, which you see on the red, and the left one is the superior drummer. So um, let's say we do the same. We have an ambience mic microphone, but we don't have a corresponding snare um, stereo microphone in the custom vintage. What you can do, go way down, click create new channel for the ambient smith and go to the wind to the mixer now and now all of a sudden you see this channel here this is the ambient smith so this is just now the ambient mid sound recorded in the galaxy studios in belgium and there is no sound coming from the snare drum here and this is one of the biggest misconceptions people sometimes have when combining libraries you can't hear this snare drum in the room from the core library of Superior Drummer, simply because that particular snare was never recorded in that room. Um, so let's play the groove now, enable the snare. Of course, now you hear that room. And now uh, is where the creativity part begins. Because what you can do right now, take advantage of the big rooms. So we go into the microphone options again. And we send the, uh, the center microphone to a new channel. And let's say the front height to a new channel. Go into the mixer window and you see snare top, snare bottom, the center, mid and height. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna mute the direct microphones of the snare drum from the core library and just enable the ambience from the core library, the Galaxy Studios. This effect is basically a reverb that you add. You take advantage of the bigger room from the core library to enhance the rather dry sound from the custom and vintage. Even though you like the sound of it, but you're missing some depth and some width from the room. Um, so you can blend in the great ambience from um, um, the core library into that uh, dry snare. And I will bring the failure slightly and slowly up so you hear what I mean. And of course, you can go creative. I mean, uh, we are, um, because I'm a sound nerd, I try to match the sounds, uh, picking two different um, uh, black beauties. But of course, and this is like the cool function, you just need to right click on the stacked um, snare ride and just pick, let's say, one of the piccolos here, like the GMS brass piccolo. The routing is still the same, but now you get the room ambient sound from that piccolo, piccolo snare. Um, you get the idea. So you can do this now, um, enhancing the toms, because I like the toms here, for instance, as well. Right? And pick a more dry, damped sounding drum from the custom vintage, add a tom from the core library, or maybe from the Avatar, New York Volume 1, or the Metal Machine. Uh, whatever expansion you have, you can use this trick to enhance the sound and to go crazy and to go nuts. Usually I'd rather recommend not to stack too many things. Um, I see some people like stacking four different um, snare drums from four different libraries, uh, five different toms and three different kicks. Of course you can do this. However, you will run into some problems when mixing them because you have then 15 different room sounds coming into your um, channel. If it works, it works, you can do this. Um, I are usually rather hesitant on stacking too many stuff, but exactly the, uh, the thing I showed you just right now, when you have a rather dry library, which is a custom and vintage, and there are some others, um, but you just want to have more depth without adding artificial reverb or reverb plugins, you can take advantage of the amazing sounding recording room from the core library or any other big library, um, like just for the sake of doing it, um, using the the biggest room and the greatest room um, is the LR Studios from New York Volume 2. So let's pick the Black Beauty here as well. Going to route microphone options and here uh, we use the big, 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 big room, um, create 
new channels on that. New channel, ambience far, new channel. Go into the mixer window. And you see, um, in the layer studios, the snare itself was recorded with four direct microphones, but we bring them down because we don't need them. Just use the amazingly huge uh, room sound from the Alea Studio. So let's double check if it's all enabled. Yes, it is. And slowly blend them in. Here it is, folks. This is um, some things about stagging instruments. Uh, it's fairly easy. Um, you can easily um, right click. You can um, move the stack now to different articulations. You can copy the same settings to uh, different articulations. So it's rather convenient and easy to use. Um, or just like as I showed you, pick another a snare and it will keep the same ratio that you just, just before. So take advantage of good sounding rooms, uh, vice versa to enhance more dry sounds or to fatten up maybe um, some drums uh, from bigger core libraries, but you need like a certain low end kick drum from that library, for instance. So you can really go crazy, but this is how it works. Thanks for watching guys. And I hope this helped you out and see you soon. Bye-bye.